Hello and welcome to my project. This is a recording of my coding sessions for my project Pocket Ad Manager, which is a user for JavaFX application for managing XML files, which consists of XML information about satellites channels. And basically, now I have the task to do further to do further development so basically uh, I was done with a set services list so it is all about taking the information from the Java object and creating appropriate XML information and now I need to write an XML generator for my not set services list but for, for my uh, buckets buckets XML file and let's just look to the code so this is basically what I need to parse first I need to open uh, a class where I am have where I have example on about how I proceed how I generate my services like so take some time sometimes see IDE okay so this is my uh, last work from the previous class now I need to pick up to open my test for the services here it is and yeah here it goes so basically I need to write a test for creating a class for testing a class which will generate an information an XML Java object uh, which will consist which gets the data from the my, from my model and the model is CTV bucket model. If you look up closely, it consists a uh, result set of CTV buckets. So this class, when it's instantiated, it consists all information which was read previously from the buckets XML. And now I have to do uh, some sort of a transition of the data from the Java objects to the XML file again and let's just do that but I need to write my test first because I'm doing test driven development so let's just do it am I creating a new class JUnit test case and the naming probably will be almost the same XML outputter for how would say I ah, okay I see for bulk you add for buckets many I have many and at the end I have test XML output of a buckets and I will basically working only with TV buckets my whole project is all about managing TV buckets adding to the buckets new channels deleting moving and so on but it is all about TV channels satellite TV channels and let me just click finish and now I have created a test and it from, from the structure you see it you saw it earlier it will have the same structure let me just quickly go, go over it so I need to create first test where I'm testing if I can create the object testing if XML output for services object exists so I have 
set TV in buckets. I can use it actually like this. Object exists, and now I need to let me just move it. Yeah. Now I need to assert that it is not now. That my created object is not now. And let me just quickly declare the variable. And what I need, I just need to, yeah, I need to write, uh, let me just write here, XML output for TV book ads. So now I have this object. Um, output for TV buckets, yeah. and I will just call it object uh, TV buckets, and I will just put it in my assert not now. And now I need just to create this class. I have my model, models and XML output of here. Now I create the class, Java class. Take the name. So I have my output, XML output for TV buckets, and basically I need to instantiate, I need to put some stuff, auto import, and I need to create to my before each. for each and I need to yep I need, I need my setup void setup setup with appropriate notation so and here I just create the appropriate object new and then I call the class and this test case basically should run successfully and you clearly see that all functioning well so basically I have first passing Test case for this for this case. Now the next move is I just look up. So uh, yeah, I need to declare my string like here and write um, path to. buckets so basically I'm preparing the stuff for the next test and now I need to pass the string in to be able to read this file now I just need to let me just do it okay so I just need to take the name refactor and rename okay uh, okay now so this is what I need to do oh wrong 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 TV buckets okay that's right it's okay okay so now I have set up my path to the buckets XML and 
The next thing to do is testing if XM working with a populated services model. Yeah. I need to make sure that I can that my in this case I am testing if XML output are working with the populated buckets model. Buckets model and now what I should do next save it okay so this test is all about expectations and my expectation is actual result and then I need to write my assert equals I have not services but rather buckets buckets model wasn't set up and this would this message I will get only when the fail when the test is when the test will fail uh, okay so now uh, okay now I need to call to write this method uh, check your service model setup but in my case I'm working with my output object object TV mm, I don't like the name it's really probably the factor rename object and xml out footer tv buckets obg i think this is proper name all right so now i have this object i need to call I need to call the, the some sort of a method and check if and now I need to pass uh, now it will be very interesting because I need to populate my buckets model this data basically I need to declare it in my test so let me just do that okay so now I have my in my models I have my class and I will I need to declare it set TV bucket model object and I need to add the import appropriate import and I let me just ah wrong 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 class let me just correct this mistake here it is here is the class where I need actually to work uh, oh, now it's now it's all okay and now I can actually take this object and pass to this method and this will basically um, before I do this I need to make some ground work for my CTV bucket model object 
let me just close this and okay let me just close this okay so basically I need to build my initialize my uh, CTV bucket model and once again let's just look at the test for the CTV bucket bucket at model I have appropriate test in my model tests set TV bucket test model test here it is now you see I need to call read and set up JDOM document this top um, blah 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 okay so I using once again helper object mm -hmm, okay Okay, so I'm using here a helper object in my bucket class. I think it is the same, the same stuff which I done previously. Build set of buckets, but here. All right, so this is the way how I need to use that stuff. And what should I do? Well, basically. I need to call my read and setup JDOM document. Let me just copy that. Create OBG and then here I need to pass um, to copy the path to my buckets. And of course, I need to use another name for my object. No, wrong, wrong, wrong. CTV bucket. This is what appropriate. And I need to. I will just declare it row. It's basically. Basically, pretty. And then try and catch in the in this method now next step so I read my XML and then I need to build set of buckets but it expects from the helper element element list all right so one method I need to actually I need to write another test case so basically I discovered that I need to write another test for my um, for my object for my bucket model I mean for the bu uh, CTV bucket model now Anyway, I need to write it here like this build set of buckets and let me just do some sort of a mock up here. And now, here I just write um, it returns a list of elements so here I need to do some work so build set of buckets and now now thinking about how I do it the best in the best way so it expects a list of elements 
Alright, so I just make a note, add list of LMs. And why I'm doing so? Because I need to populate my setTV buckets model object with the data. And after I'm done with this groundwork, I can actually write my method and do the stuff further. So, yeah. But it is not such a big problem. Let's just look up this method. So basically, you, you, you see what it's doing. I'm getting my get root element. All right, so I, I copy this code. And let's just uh, write the test and how it will how it will look. Let's just write here test. Let me just put here now. Here I. What I'm doing here, so I need uh, to check that uh, check if bucket object so what I'm doing here, I am actually reading. Read JDOM document and create bucket element list. Exactly. Check if bucket object. Check if XML elements for bucket can be read. Yep. The naming of the methods not always easy one, but it should be understandable what I'm actually trying to do. And I'm working with a list, so basically to make my life better, easier, I just use boolean expected result is true boolean actual result is false and none I just need to use my assert equals expected actual result checking if if xml XML elements for buckets can be read. All right. Now, this is it. It goes like this. I creating bucket. I'm using. Oh, I just need to call my bucket model object and I need to call this method this method will return a list of elements so basically I need to use list of element and I will say result what I'm getting um, I'm getting my bucket bucket result bucket and now I just need to write new I don't know every list of elements I think there's a proper syntaxis 
element util all right so this is what I'm actually expecting to get and then after doing so I just need simply evaluate I simply evaluating and I'm taking the result and getting off is empty is empty and should be false because it returns back true if the list has no elements and in the case of false I need to write my result to true and that's it now I just need to create this method and copy this code. Let me just compare what I have created. It has yeah, it has almost the same signature. Now I just need to delete it because I don't need it. I don't need this code and now I just format it and okay so now I need to get hold of the documents let's just look so this is my document and I just need to get hold yeah get some bucket JDOM document Alright, so basically now I have the what the situation which I wanted and I can I can execute this method without any problem and my let me just close this code let me just close it delete this point so now this test should work pretty well it should pass oh 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 yeah oh yeah I forgot to read <laughs> I need to I need to read read as a I need I need to read this XML let me just quickly get over it so okay testing your bucket model can read a JDOM document Okay, we have to read and set up JDOM document here. Yeah. Okay, no problem. So basically, here it is. Alright, so now I have set up it properly. Okay, so in this case I don't need this because I'm a try and catch and I don't need this. Yeah, always make your code clean, even tests must be clean. Not always, but most time. Most time it always clean code. So now what? All right. So now I just need to. 
read and set up JDOM document. Yeah, basically I need to redone this method. And here Okay, now I just need to run one test. Be why did fail? Because I forgot to read my XML to the class. So now I am reading my XML and setting up and then I am getting hold of needed elements from the XML document class. Now just need to execute my JUnit and you see it works pretty pretty fine. When I execute all of my tests, all tests passing. But as I mentioned earlier, um, now I need to make my test better. So do I need this helper object? Actually I don't. I can delete all of these lines because I am setting up it earlier. And as a result I can delete all of the code for catching the stuff. And now um, what I need to do, I need to so this is what I don't like it. Uh, I don't need read XML and create JDOM document. Yeah. I don't need this code actually. And basically I just need to call this method thing and this should pass mm, I'm using here yeah so let me just format it okay now I can run this test again passing so basically always try to clean your code this is one of the best properties of the TDD you always trying to clean your code because some stuff changing and you don't need it anymore and in my in my case it was like this because I added this method to my production code and now I just can run all of my tests without any headache Cool. Now, finally, after doing so, here I am calling this method, and here I am just think it is read. Mm, let me just look it up. Uh, build set. Let me just look it to my model module test. And here I have the example code. Let me just call take it take it this method. Now I can think it call list. So now I don't need this comment okay what I have done uh, I read my uh, JDOM document so I basically read my XML buckets XML after that I need to build from the buckets XML objects which are I'm doing in the build set of buckets and build set of buckets it expects to get an element list of uh, yeah, element producing XML elements, which are those buckets, and buckets are basically the information about favorites, 
favorites which have user created now let's just go to my method here where we need to create the appropriate method here so basically let me just write here boolean I have result which is at the beginning false return result and here I'm closing it and what I need to do I need to get hold of my object my set TV bucket model bucket model object and I just need to make it sure that it is not empty. What can I get the result? Yeah, I'm getting the collection. This is a set of my set TV buckets, and is empty equals to false then in this case I know that my set is complete it has some elements so now I know when I execute this method I know what what to do next so basically here here is my situation uh, I'm checking if if the object which I get for my XML output is not is not null. I'm making sure that I'm working with a completely set up CTV bucket model object. And let's just run this test. Okay. What I have forgot uh, Let me just think about Did I forgot to to pass proper element? Um, let me just look up the case. No point exception. think let me just quickly look up the, the module test So read and set up JDOM document done. Let me copy the proper path. Okay, build set of buckets. Set TV buckets model object. Read JDOM document and create element list. Mm, okay, so let's run my test again it should work okay where I'm getting this null, null pointer exception so let me just look up my tests here here should all work fine okay all things working fine so uh, where I getting my mistake read and set up JDOM document
Okay. Interesting. Check if bucket set is not null. Let me just copy this. And ah, ah, okay. No way, there's a mistake. I forgot to get the result. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's my mistake. So because I providing my object for the city bucket model. Okay, now I need to deal with it. TV model object so basically I need to call I think this is appropriate Yeah, because I need to <laughs> now I have better situation so I am passing the collection yeah because I do not say I do not save it I need to call my yeah but why what but why I'm doing so let me just try it out and when it works well then it works. Um okay so now I'm getting my collection so which is set of set TV objects now set of buckets and here I just can call is empty and should be false all right so now I just need to run my test Okay. Okay. So it was some dumb, dumb rookie mistake. I did forgot to initialize the set TV bucket object, and basically it continues further. Now all tests passing through, all tests working, pretty fine, and now I can close this. I don't need this anymore. And let me just readjust my view. So basically now I can verify that I am working with a full set of set TV bucket model. And next step. The next step will be uh, to look up my... Uh, okay, so testing if... XML output root element created. This is what I need to test. And let me just do it like this. Do I have the same code? Zepit. Uh, yep, I have Zepit 2. It's basically. Yeah. 
uh, the same stuff. So now I just need to I, I now I just need to create this dock in my class. Let me just quickly copy the lines. Create services XML root for buckets, buckets, and all the class I have here for services. Now here I need to call I need to call my I need to open my production code this is and here I just need to create first of all I need to write my call and how I will call it and I need to call it Get set services no get book you at smell output doc forgot to copy the the full line so okay now I need to create this method and I'm actually need to, to declare it and now I need to go to this method to the class I mean to the class and where I need to create uh, let me just quickly Okay, uh, uh, Eclipse added automatically the appropriate import set bucket adds bucket. Mm. Yeah, I have bucket bucket here. Yeah. Basically, buckets many, but it is bucket document. Yeah. I would say I will say buckets is better method so here I need to create my get on setter for this get on setter and now I need to go to my test and get my dog What you doing? Uh, we need to close it yeah, like this. Get. Ah, I forgot to think about true. So let me just do the following. Now I don't need this. So basically, it goes like this. Now I'm creating an uh, an element which is a root element of my of of my XML document which I need for my buckets XML now this test should basically run without any problem 
Null pointer exception. Why? Uh, did I forgot something? I think yes, I forgot to create. Yeah, I think I, I forgot to initialize the uh, variable. Let me just look up my test. Previously, which I create XML root private. Yeah. Okay, so this is basically what I forgot to do. Now, in my case, I need to go to my bucket class xml output for buckets and here i need to create my constructor first i need to write the method create xml root i think i need to manage it properly like this element book you at root now I need to create new okay so I'm getting set so now I just need to, to push this method here and add JDOM element and then it all about the constructor source uh, constructor generate constructor basically I won't use any fields uh, and here I just make a call to the method which will create the root for my document and now I can test it so let me just go over here just do it like this here is my test case for the XML output of a buckets test buckets test and now I can run this method and it works and when I execute all of my methods, let me, yeah, I can all works pretty fine. And yeah, now when I done with the creating of my root. Close it. Basically, this is my production code. So, the next test, yeah, the next test uh, which I need to do, support service test. So, basically, I'm using the, the same design pattern for what I have to do next. So, testing if new XML document is not now. Yeah, and here I need to write the method which will verify that my XML output a JDOM document. And only after that I can be sh I make me I make sure that I can go with further importing stuff. And let's just do that. XML output test buckets. All right. So now I have here testing if new XML document is not null. And here I do the same, almost the same stuff 
which I have used previously. Break this out. Sometimes, okay, here it is. True, and then I need to my actual result. And I need my object. And on this object I have to call the method. Cool. And then I need to execute my assert. Checking the JDOM. Buckets document is XML in XML output is set up. Mm, I don't need this plus. All right, so now I need to implement this method and what it will basically do it boolean result false return result and what I'm actually trying here to write I need to write here method which uh, where's my test here Yeah, that I have here as a root. Okay, let me just copy this part of code. Then later probably I will refactor, but currently I don't have a need for this. So verify XML of a JDOM document. And here I just need to write the stuff. In my case this and I just need to write here result true and as root element Now I need to get hold of my this and get output doc. I think this should this should be okay. Yeah. Now it should work. Now I basically run my test. This is test for my buckets. Now let me execute it. And it works. And then, and I know that it is stop because my root is set up. Alright, so next move and final move is my test where I finally finally I can create an X generate an XML document mm, okay let me just go over it now where is my test case here need to copy it And basically here I just need to write the stuff and yep so now 
Now I need to write this big huge bulk of code for generating my XML document. And I, I think, I see it's almost at one hour. I will spend your time. Now let me just finish up this test. Um, forgot the semicolon. And here I need to write my call my object and this object I need to call call appropriate uh, method which will have the name creating XML elements creating XML elements and then I need to, to, to pass my object with the name of let me just think about uh, yes yeah, ATV bucket model object Yeah, because setv model object consists all information about my buckets, and what I do, what I should do next. Now I, I have to write this output uh, to see later my end result of my work. Output object print XML result XML output object services. So basically, this is what I need to then later to, to change. Okay, but now I think I almost one hour I have created a failing test. And yeah, I will conclude the session uh, not right now, but will I will pause right now and then present my result. And I hope it will work it out. I think it will be pretty successful. So stay tuned. I'm I'll be right back. So as I promise, here is the result. Now the method is pretty the same as it with other stuff which I have created previously. Uh, this method let me just run it. Let me just quickly I have nothing in my console. Okay. So now I just need to run my test. Okay, so now you see the output of my XML output. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is the, the same kind of code which I got. Let me just stick it to console. Now, now I can compare. So basically, I I'm managed. I was able to create my XML output for the bucket ad. And this is how it goes. Uh, let me just let me just find it in here in the console view. And yeah, you see the information is almost the same. Locket hidden and so on. And that's it, that works pretty well. And yeah, works like this. Let me just find another stuff.
Okay, so now, now I have, now I have done it. Uh, yeah, now let's just see the code um, for my for my iterating. So all of my tests are actually pretty cool. So when I execute all of my tests for the output, I get my output as expected because I use some printer class to print the contents of my XML generated code and now I just need to show you the code and refactor it because <laughs> I'm using a lot of a lot of code let me just quickly test console alright so finally how it's structured I have for uh, have two for loops uh, one iterating over the buckets and at the same time I'm iterating over the buckets uh, channels which each bucket contents has the contents of and after each iteration of my bucket channel I add this bucket channel to the corresponding bucket element pretty obvious I think it's even easier than uh, the um, test case which I have created for my services but basically I am done with my XML generating I need still to write a test case for file write operation but file write operation will be pretty pretty simple because I get hold of my document where is my document here here is my document uh, here's my document and I'm just push it to my file file uh, writer and, and file writer gets the path to the location where the file should be stored and that's it but uh, currently I only wish to have refactoring some refactoring in my code and let's just basically do it so first of all I don't I would like um, yeah I would like to pack all of this into some method refactor extract method private method and this will be like adding attributes for bucket bucket adding attributes for bucket lm um, click OK let's run my test yep all green cool now let's uh, do the same stuff with, uh, with this stuff so basically here let me just think quickly so basically here I'm adding attributes uh, let me just refactor extract method here I'm adding attributes for bucket channel element nice and now I can extract this method refactor extract method and now I just need to write here uh, iterating iterating 
over so I'm iterating over block create bucket channels but they're iterating over bucket channels and adding to bucket bucket I can't spell it right now book adding adding to bucket yeah done now I wish to to extract all of these commands which I have here to another method the factor extract method so basically here iterating over set TV bucket set TV bucket and adding bucket to the root to root and I think it will it, it will work when I execute all of my tests yeah working so like like this let run all of my tests I hope it won't break anything I think it will work basically without any problem we just put it on the big screen yeah and I managed now to to generate to generate my XML here is a one example 124 test runs and basically I getting some results I'm generating XML pretty well defined in pretty well defined format now let me just uh, out um, uncomment the part where I am printing I don't need this part and let me just execute my tests alright so now I go to the package like here like here like here and I'm executing all of my tests and basically that's it um, for the coding session I hope you learned something I hope you saw something um, occasionally I do mistakes but I'm correcting them and uh, let me just put it away so occasionally I do mistakes but test driven development helps me to to quickly fix them and I always try to do the best work for my code and yeah what I promise to do next now let me switch currently to the whiteboard I have real online so now where I am at the point I have I have created XML output for the services XML output output for satellites I will just use short short description set shortcut and now I created XML for XML output output for um, services and after after this I have I have created XML output XML output for 
buckets mm, it is data type format jdom document so jdom document jdom document jdom document now i need to do in the next coding session following i need to create some pretty simple class uh, let me just this will be like following Uh, this will uh, actually will be file writer file writer for XML it will um, get access get hold of XML object JDOM document and and the path to the location To the location of file and you can imagine let me just do this like this so the data the data basically goes like like this let me point I think to be yeah black is good is okay and I just need to so file writer accessing this set and after some point in time it will access this and each time I can draw it right now so imagine that I'm getting my storage I mean file like on my file system file so each time when I call this file writer class I will get an output or not because maybe I will have a case where I don't get the output but probably I will verify it during the writing of the file maybe if I have the same file at my storage but basically I will get hold of my XML document I will get hold of a location and then later I will check if at the given location this file does not exist then I will write the file and if the file is existing I do nothing because then it will manage basically the controller but I need not the file writer should write and only write in the case where I have no this file and this will be like like following or it will be determined by the boolean expression because if I have a file I need to ask uh, to to return some sort of a message that the file exists then the user will re reassure yes write to the file once again and the program only after the acknowledgement from the user will write the file but I will develop this future later in the project so basically when I'm done with my file writer I'm actually can start uh, start to work with my UI so till the next session bye bye